Hi everyone, my name is Carly and today I'm going to talk to you about something called energy transformation. Let's get started! Before we start talking about how we can transform energy from one form to another, we should ask ourselves, what is energy? Energy is defined as the ability to do work. You've probably heard of energy when talking about things in your everyday life. Turning on the lights, driving a car, and storing food in the refrigerator all use energy. But energy is everywhere, not just in our lights and cars, but in our bodies too. Energy transformation is the process by which energy changes from one type to another. According to the French physicist and philosopher Emily du Châtelet, energy can never be created or destroyed, only changed from one form to another. This is one of the most important rules in physics and is the guiding theory behind energy transformation. Let's take a look at some of the ways you can use the theory of energy transformation in your everyday life. Before we begin our day, it's important that we eat a full, balanced breakfast. Why? Because the food we eat gives us energy to wake up and start our day. When a grown-up turns on the stove to cook breakfast, the electrical energy from the stove changes into heat, also known as thermal energy. This is why a stove is hot when you turn it on. The thermal energy from the stove cooks our food, and when we sit down to eat it, our bodies turn the calories in the food into chemical energy. This chemical energy can be used for all kinds of things like walking, rollerblading, throwing a ball, or taking a bath. All of these activities, and any type of movement that you do throughout the day, transforms the chemical energy in your food into something called kinetic energy, or the energy of motion. Energy transformation is the reason you can think, move, laugh, and grow. People aren't the only things that use energy. Plants also use energy to live and grow. Plants take solar energy, or light energy, from the sun and change it into chemical energy in a process known as photosynthesis. Even non-living things store energy. An object held up high, like this ball, stores something called potential energy, or the energy from gravity. Gravity pulls down on the ball, storing potential energy, but because your hand is keeping the ball from falling, the ball is not in motion. The ball stores the potential energy until you release it. When you release the ball, the potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy. You can think of potential energy as kinetic energy waiting to happen. Scientists study energy transformation so we can better understand things like volcanoes, earthquakes, radioactivity, supernovas, and thunderstorms. Let's recap what we've learned. Energy is the ability to do work, and it can never be created or destroyed, only changed from one type to another. The process of changing energy is called energy transformation. There are a lot of different types of energy, including chemical, electrical, potential, thermal, light, kinetic, and nuclear. All these types of energy and more play an important role in your everyday life and in the lives of the scientists who study them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.